Well, hello, Yellow Army, and welcome to official TUFC TV. Now, one of the uh, standout performers from last season was undoubtedly goalkeeper Mark Holstead. I'm delighted to say that Mark joins us today. Mark, how are you doing? Have you had a great summer? Yeah, not doing too bad. A little bit tiring being a full-time dad, but, you know, it's looking forward to getting back in now. A couple of, couple of weeks left, and then we're back. Yeah, it sounds like there's been no rest for you at all, Mark. And uh, obviously last season, it, it was, as a team, it didn't turn out as we all planned. But it's a superb season for you, Mark. Is it, are you able to take uh, any pride of that yourself? Um, it's difficult to take personal plaudits when collectively we fell short of what we uh, aimed to do. Um, but yeah, hopefully I can carry on the form that I showed for the most part of last season into next season and uh, next season be a little bit more successful. Yeah, it seems that everybody is, is there's this real sort of camaraderie between the group. And obviously you've got your own little group being a goalkeeper, the goalkeepers union, some people call it, obviously with Reese and, and Kenny also are there again next season. That must be a, quite encouraging that you're going to be with that same group again next year, is it? Yeah, Kenny is a big part of uh, me staying. I got on really well with him. Um, got a good working relationship and away from football as well, built up a good friendship. Uh, we obviously spend a lot of time together. Um we go through the analysts of our position and stuff before training, and then we'll go through mine or Reese's performances after a game. And it's uh, it's good that Reese is staring on as well. Um, we work well together, we work hard, we push each other, and then uh, hopefully it's the same for next season as well. Is it fair to say that if you know that you have got a good keeper like we have in Reese, uh, that we're blessed with two fantastic goalkeepers, when you've got somebody that is perform capable of performing so well as well that that actually pushes you on to even greater heights. Is that a fair statement, sir? Yeah, because I've been in that position as well when you're fighting to get to be playing on the Saturday. Um, you're always wanting to prove that you're better than the person that's playing. So it's always healthy to have good competition. And it also helps that he's a, he's a really nice lad and we got on really well as well. Um, we, like I just said, we'll continue to keep pushing each other next season. And then uh, whoever's playing better will keep the shirt, I imagine. Do you have any particular memories from last season that you're particularly fond of? I'd like to say, I mean, I don't know if you would agree, but uh, many people from the outside looking may well say it may have been the, the best season of your career. We'll let you judge that one. But thinking about, I mean, second week of the season against Halifax away, I mean, that's a, a display that any Talking Out fan that was there is not going to forget in a hurry. Yeah, I'm not sure about the best season of my career um, because ultimately we got relegated and like I used to keep reminding me, I played the most games, so I'm the most to blame. So, yeah, Halifax won. It was uh, it was early on in the season. Um, I still probably had a fair few doubters to prove wrong. So it's nice that it came so early in the season. And um, But, you know, I'm, it's tough looking back on things like that because um, ultimately we fell short. Um, but we have to take the positives from last season, especially the running we had towards the end. And um, the fact that we've managed to keep the group together for the most part and take that into next season and make next season a, a successful one. Yeah, you've hit upon two real positive notes there that uh, a lot of uh, people have also mentioned, is that obviously the form, the running towards the end of the season was a bonus. And obviously the fact that collectively uh, the club have managed to keep hold of the majority of that starting eleven that did those games. So it's it does... It, present that opportunity, if you want to call it redemption or anything like that. But obviously, being in the National League South and all that, if we can turn this into a, a, a positive season with promotion, obviously the aim, you know, the good times could be back at Playmore again very, very soon. Yeah, hopefully. Promotion is undoubtedly our only aim. Uh, anything less than that is a, a failure, in my opinion, uh, especially, like I just said, with the players that we've kept and the, the group that we've kept. Um, we let a lot of people down last year. Um, I'm not afraid to say it. Uh, we shouldn't have been relegated with the squad that we had. Um, so we've let a lot of people down. So we've got a lot of wrongs to right for next season. Um, but like I just said, with the group that we've managed to keep, uh, I think it's a signal of intent of what's to come, hopefully, especially after the way we ended the season. If we can carry that on with, like said, with the same group of players, um, and then hopefully we'll be a force to reckon with. Mark, can we ask you, what, what was your uh, reason for staying on at Talking Was it the camaraderie? Because obviously we were also mentioning to Jack Stubbs, it's not, he's not had a career that's been anywhere near the uh, English Riviera. And obviously not quite the same a, a, as yourself, but it's uh, what made you want to stay at Playmore and, and then obviously play football in the local area for another season? Uh, there's a number of factors. Um, firstly, the offer, which is always nice to receive. 
Um, I felt that I couldn't leave the club after a relegation. I feel like we've got, like I just said, a point to prove this year. And it, felt, it would have felt wrong to, to leave like that. Um, but more more importantly, that I'm happy down in Turkey, um, which, you know, it, it's a no-brainer to stay. Uh, I'm happy. Uh, my family happy when they come down as well. So, um, yeah, it, it was a no-brainer. There was never any other sideway glances or anything else. Um, and like I said, it's it's the group that we got there. My, we've, I've made some great friends down there, the likes of Laps, Acer and Mox. And uh, my wife and my kids are there, friends with their wives and their kids, which also helps a lot. Um, so that's another big factor. Apart from the uh, fantastic saves uh, and uh, and your all-round performances last season, one of the notable things that we see if we were training by a goal going to the last few minutes, you see that more and more as the season went on, you went for those late runs into the boxes. That's something that hopefully won't be in the position too many times, but I think we're like looking forward to seeing again next season. Well, hopefully we're uh, winning more games than we're chasing next season. Um, I'm another year older, so another year, a bit more in the tank, isn't there? a bit more in the lake, sorry. Uh, so hopefully we don't need to see that, but if, uh, if it is needed, then uh, I'll back myself to score a goal there. Fantastic. Well, I think there'll be quite some celebrations if you do do that. <laughs> and, uh, we're obviously edging ever closer to pre-season. Now, what's your own uh, views on pre-season? It's not everybody's uh, as a footballer's favourite time of year, but are you looking forward to it now or are you going to make most of the next few weeks? Looking forward to it's strong. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing the lads and getting back in the day-to-day uh, environment of being in a, a football club again. Um like these last six weeks, I've just been a full-time dad. So the only adult conversation I've had is with my wife in, in the evening. So it'd be nice to get back in and get involved in the camaraderie again. Um, but, you know, it's not it's not my first pre-season. Um, it's all about getting fit again and uh, getting some minutes uh, in the legs when the games come around and just being ready for the first game of the season when that starts. Brilliant. Well, Mark, we really appreciate you joining us today. And it's fantastic to have you on board again for next season. And we look forward, like you say, to seeing you in pre-season. See you in a couple of weeks. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Mark.